Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the pressure difference across the curved surface. We have already studied that the liquid surface may be concave or convex. On which side the pressure is more and why? That is what we are going to discuss in this particular video. So for a particular case when silver and distilled water is there, then the liquid surface is plain. It's neither concave or non nor convex. So we will discuss all the three cases discussing the reason for excess pressure on one side as with respect to the other. So the first surface which we are considering is plain surface. Second surface we are considering is concave surface and the third surface which we are considering is convex surface. Right? We know that surface molecules have extra energy which is called as surface energy. Now here we are considering one molecule in each case which is present on the surface of that particular liquid. So if this one molecule is at this surface of the concave that is wetting liquid and if this molecule is on the surface of the convex meniscus for the non wetting liquid. So this is convex meniscus for non wetting liquid. And this is concave meniscus for the wetting liquid. And this is the particular case when the surface is flat. So this is the particular case when we have silver or distilled water combination. Silver container and distilled water combination. So that surface is plain. Now what happens if this is the plain surface? So now this is plain meniscus. Meniscus as you have studied meniscus is the surface of the liquid. So that means if we are talking about this plain meniscus we can say that the liquid is on this side right and this vapor is on this side. Here also this is the liquid on this side and this is vapor on this side. Here also this is the liquid on this side and this is the vapor. Right? Now we'll mark the force due to surface tension in all the three cases. Suppose in this case, this surface molecule is surrounded by the other surface molecules. So these surface molecules will exert surface tension force which is on all the sides of this surface molecule because the surface tension force is tangential. So this surface tension force, this surface tension force will be tangential to the surface. Now for this particular case, surface tension force is tangential. So in this case, This will be the surface tension force and this will be the surface tension force. Similarly, we can draw for this particular molecule which is on the convex surface. So this is again the surface tension force on this convex surface. So in this case it will have some 
resultant by parallelogram law you remember the parallelogram law if you have co initial vectors co initial means same starting point <clears throat> so in this case the resultant is given by the diagonal both in magnitude as well as in direction so this is the resultant similarly in this case this and this are the two vectors and their resultant will be this so you can say that this is the resultant surface tension force right similarly in this case the resultant surface tension force will be here right so surface tension force this is be surface tension force and similarly here this is also surface tension force and this is also surface tension force or you can say the force due to surface tension now we know <coughs> that this concave meniscus and the convex meniscus both are in stable position both are having stability so that means there must be some opposing force from this side which is balancing this resultant force right so that force can be considered as the force due to the vapor pressure which is on the concave side so you can write here force to balance force or stability right similarly here this is this side force so the force needs to be applied from lower side to balance it i can write here force to balance for stability i'm writing here force to balance i'm simply writing this force to balance so this force to balance is due to the pressure on this side vapor side so here you can say here there is no resultant force so i can simply write no resultant force of surface tension therefore no force required to balance therefore pressure on vapor side is equal to pressure on liquid side right in this case resultant force <coughs> due to surface tension acts so therefore force required to balance
for stability therefore this pressure on vapor side is greater than pressure on liquid side similar explanation here resultant force present therefore force required to balance for stability therefore pressure on liquid side is great, greater than pressure on vapor side so now you just analyze what is the vapor side here vapor side is actually concave side right here liquid side is is concave right so look at this here the pressure on vapor side is more that means pressure on concave side is more right similarly here the pressure on liquid side is more that means the pressure on concave side is more so just remember this the pressure on concave side of the curved surface is always greater than the other side so hope you have understood the comparison between the three surfaces to understand the reason for this here also we have applied the parallelogram law so by parallelogram law right so hope you understood this that's all for now have a nice day